uh, in this example, we're going to look at the transformation from R2 to R3, given by this transformation here, and see how it affects these two vectors, uh, V1 and V2. Okay. Um, in the last example, we saw how to uh, find the transformation matrix A uh, for this transformation T. Um, and so it should come to no surprise that where these numbers are coming from. So let's multiply this by the vector uh, V1. And this would be the transformation of uh, T on V1. And so this produces uh, a vector 1 times 1 plus 1 times a negative 2 is a negative 1. And then 1 times 1 is 1 times negative 2 times 0 is just 0. And then negative uh, 2, sorry, 2 times 1, and then negative 1 times a negative 2. So you get 2 plus 2, which is 4. This is the relationship of the transformation of this transformation P on this vector V1. Let's do the same for V2 here. And so we're going to look at 1, 1, 1, 0, 2, negative 1 on uh, 3, 2. And that's going to produce uh, 3 plus 2, that's going to be 5. It's going to be 3 plus 0, so it's going to be 3. And then that's going to be 6 minus 2, that's going to be 4. Okay, so the transformation matrix for this one then gets mapped to 5, 3, 4. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.